what is up youtubers and lovers of budget cars and bikes welcome back to the channel and a new video on a new bike something i have actually owned before i will admit and i really really enjoyed owning it so i thought as this came up i know the bike relatively well as i said i've enjoyed owning one in the past and doing some bits and bobs to it kind of, you know just adding some uh, little bits of bling here and there and then this popped up not even local actually this came from wales and you'll see <laughs> how i know it came from wales in a moment but it came up on, I think it was Facebook Marketplace, uh, at a very, very reasonable price. And it is the depths of winter now. It's incredibly miserable out here in Cornwall. It's about the 5th of January, I think. So I hope you all had a very good uh, Christmas and New Year's. You probably won't see this until spring, I wouldn't think, because we've got quite a few videos coming up. But I wanted to just show you what's arrived. It arrived oh, yesterday afternoon, I think late afternoon from a new courier I'm using whose links I will put in the description if you want bikes moved around really really reasonable and uh, a really light, lovely bloke basically uh, as I said I'll put some details in the description below if you need anything moving bike wise but what have we got a 2004 Kawasaki Z750 the naked version of course which has had some blingy bits added to it now it's got incredibly low mileage that's one of the reasons I bought it it's got quite a unique kind of stance to the Z750 and I really do like it I want to try Z1000 in this shape this year for a long time but they still hold their values really well but these talking of values are incredibly good value and after I did the video on the Ducati Monster 796 I think it was anyway I'll stick a link up in the corner here for that um, I remembered how much I really do like riding mid-range uh, motorcycles you know how much easier they are, they are rather in a lot of um, terms just because you can throw your leg over them and just go off and do what you've got to do and then come back. There's no kind of real huge faffery about having a GSX 1400 where you've got to climb onto this big horse of a bike or a Ducati or anything like that. I mean, I'm hoping that makes sense. These are just fun little zip about town bikes, um, but they will obviously take you commuting. They, you know, you could tour on one of these if you really wanted to. The reason I say that is because the only marks on the bike are actually just here from where somebody had some luggage straps holding something on. So obviously they did do a little bit of touring generally speaking as I said we're having a look at this first impressions wise because I've not been out on it yet we will do a ride along um, but generally speaking I think it's a lovely little bike um, it's got some bits that you would expect I mean it's what 18 years old now almost there's a little bit of paint peeling here and there on the engine cases on the stator cover there and on the clutch side as well there's a little bit going on just over here and stuff but these cases are stupidly cheap I went online last night to find out how much a stator case is this one down down here and if you buy one from China they're 18 quid including the gasket including free delivery I mean just why wouldn't you the only issue I would have is does it that gold match the top of the engine so you've got to be aware of that because it, you know if it was just that then yeah okay I'd go for it but mm, I don't know um, I may not even bother doing it this is going to be a cheap turnaround I'm going to have a little bit of fun on this bike and then I'm going to move it on to somebody in the spring when bike prices obviously increase we'll talk about prices obviously in the next video but as I said someone's done some blingy little bits they've got um, an aftermarket side stand not quite sure or why um, and some aftermarket pegs and levers so I don't think that's an original lever this bloody peg here keeps clacking right into my shin which is a bit annoying it's also got this which is an alarm so there's the alarm fob there which I guess I mean I don't particularly like alarms on bikes but this one you have to actually physically turn it on uh, so it doesn't just arm every time which is better I guess and it's also got this really funky camera setup there's a little camera at the back which I'm amazed hasn't been knocked off yet if I'm honest and it's also got one just at the front there and it's all controlled from this little unit over here uh, I'm not sure if it'll yeah there you go you turn that on and obviously if if it will allow yeah there's the front camera and I think in the top right here you see the rear camera so that I really like that it's kind of cool let's see if we can just turn that off um, I've just tried to start it it did start there's no problem there but the battery is incredibly low so now it won't start so I'm gonna have to put it on charge I do apologize about that but uh, you'll see the incredibly low mileage at wait for it to kick in uh, maybe I've got to press a couple of buttons yeah, we got 21,498 miles, incredibly low mileage. Now, with all these Kawasaki's, I don't think I've seen one of this age that doesn't do that. They all get this kind of cracking in the screen here. I'm hoping you can see that. It's, it's not pretty, but I don't think I've seen a Z750 that doesn't do that of this age, to be honest. Aftermarket levers, just cheap Chinese ones. You can tell they're not even fitted very well, are they? They're just wobbling about. Um, yeah, probably 15 quid off eBay. Aftermarket indicators as well. Again, probably a tenner a set. 
Um, tail tardy, little number plate. Again, I'm amazed that hasn't been clipped off yet. A couple of stickers and uh, some crash bungs here. These, <laughs> the longest crash bungs I think you'll ever see in your life. Uh, but they're there, you know. And apparently these are the radiator guards off a Z1000. Uh, the guy said he liked them, so he put them on. Fantastic, why not? Dark screen. This has got to go, of course, this little thingy here, because uh, we don't bibble about whales, do we? So uh, as we come down, obviously, the guy's put some stickers on here as well. I think it's probably had a service relatively recently because that K&M filter looks pretty new and a belly pan with some stickers on as well. He's put this weird little thing here as well, a temperature gauge for the oil. Don't know why. Um, each of their own, I guess. And the one thing I don't really like is this horrible, cheap, nasty aftermarket exhaust. Now, these really are. You go on eBay, they're like literally 20 quid for the end can. They come from China. They don't sound great. As I said, we will give it a start up once I've charged the battery up. But they're pretty grody, if I'm honest. Rear tyre, I think, has done, done a fair few miles by the looks of it. I'm not going to worry about that, though, because it has got an MOT. That'll be something for somebody else. As I said, it is a cheap little bike. Bar end mirrors as well. Um, I'm considering taking these off, actually, and putting the originals back on, because I could do with a set of bar, set, um, bar end mirrors for my other bike, which I'm hoping you've seen the video on. You should have done by now. The uh, Aprilia Tuona. So if you see that with those um, bar end mirrors on, you'll know I took them off. Anyway, that's it. As I said, 2004, 21,500 miles miles came from wales looking good i mean the but the paintwork is immaculate it is absolutely stunning there's a couple of tiny little things here that will polish out the tank not a mark on it again that's just a clip don't like these anodized bolts never really understood why people put red bolts um like that it's not my cup of tea what i might do is put a carbon cover around that and see if i can replace those i might i don't know uh rental bars obviously uh always just no i think that's a rental bar uh this camera going back to that that's hardwired in so it literally comes on every time you start the bike i like that i think it's a nice idea especially for safety aspects the camera back and front Although for me, I think if it was me, I would have put this upside down and here. So it was out of the way, but whatever, because you can always turn the uh, video footage um, 180 degrees uh, on your computer if you wanted to. Rear hugger, I think that's probably standard. I'm not 100% sure on that. But that's it, guys. You know, this is just a quick first impressions of the Kawasaki Z750. I can't start it up. I do apologise. It is what it is. The battery is as flat as tote. And I cannot, for the bloody life of me, work out how to get this seat off to get to the battery. There's supposed to be a keyhole um, underneath here somewhere, but I'm bugging if I can find it. So a bit of Googling is needed there. Anyway, we will do a ride-along video on this in the next couple of weeks as well. So uh, we'll have a couple of cameras set up, plus the couple of cameras that are already on there. I might try to steal some of that footage as well and just show you how that is um if i can get the sd card out but that's it as i said 2004 21 and a bit thousand miles and we will talk about prices but these are stupidly cheap for the amount of fun you can have i mean this is 110 horsepower um 750 kawasaki stupidly reliable as most kawasaki's are a lot of fun a lot of power for not a lot of money but as i said we will talk about prices in the next video so if you haven't subscribed do that give the video a thumbs up a like a share all that good stuff and watch out for the ride along video and a kind of full review uh within about the next two weeks i would think all right as i said subscribe to see more on this and other projects up and coming and uh, we'll catch up soon take care guys thanks for watching